Hi guys. All right. Uh, I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along to me. This is in Chandler, Arizona. Watch this. Security cameras recorded officers breaking down the front door of this Chandler family's home. Earlier that day, the family doctor found two-year-old Heber's temperature to be 105 and instructed his mother, Sarah Beck, to take him to the ER, mentioning a concern for meningitis. Once in her car, his mother took his temperature again and found it was going down. He's acting normal. He's um, dancing with the sisters and in his car seat and I take his temperature and his temperature was 102. So they went home. She says by then the fever had dropped even more. We love our children. We love them. If, if our children needed help, we would absolutely help them. The doctor, learning they had not gone to the ER, called DCS. And later that night, the family got a visit from Chandler Police. After the family didn't answer the door, police broke it down. Police documents show they discovered the older children had been vomiting and said they found the child's room to be very messy. The clutter was laundry on our couch. Police also located an unlocked shotgun in the parents' bedroom. It actually is inert. It doesn't work. DCS took all three children for medical evaluation. Their parents have not heard from them since. Like we're holding our kids hostage or they're deathly ill or they're, they're barely alive. or They were perfectly fine. He was in my arms sleeping. With, as I'm on the phone with the police officer, I took his temperature. It was 100 degrees. There's, I, there's no reason for me to give up my kid because he has a temperature of 100 degrees and sleeping. I'm just beside myself. I just want my kids. I just want to know, are they okay? Well, today the family tells us they were supposed to have a meeting with DCS, and when they showed up, they were told that the agency had to cancel. Now, the parents also tell me that none of their kids are vaccinated. They opted all of them out, but they don't think that's the reason why DCS took those children out of the home. Now, we also reached out to DCS tonight. They said they can't comment due to confidentiality, and both those parents, neither of them have been arrested or charged at this point. Lauren Reimer for Arizona. All righty. All right. What do we say here? Okay, first I want to say there are people who believe that everything that they see uh, in mainstream media, uh, everything, all the videos, all the articles, everything from mainstream media is fake. It didn't happen. Uh, I don't understand that thinking. Um, you know, mainstream media does report uh, things that actually do happen. And if you're just going to take that kind of thinking, uh, well, <laughs> all right, then we still have a really big problem. So, in this case, what's the problem? If this is all fake, we've got those actors, the police department, mainstream media, and those parents involved in acting out a script. Well, what would be the point of that? To show America, you no longer live in a free society, you live in a police state. Now, I take at face value uh, if I cannot discern from what I am seeing, I take it as uh, discern, you know, that it's fake. I take it at face value that it's true. Can you imagine? Can you imagine you parents with children? So you take your child to the doctor and it, it, your child has 105. But then the temperature goes down. Okay. So... You do what you know is necessary to take care of your child, but your doctor that you don't know has called the police on you. Or uh, DCS, is that the initials for Arizona? Really? So you can't trust your doctor. You certainly can't trust any DSS, DCS, any organization that comes in and takes three children away because, well, they think that the children need a medical evaluation. Um, something is very wrong here. 
and frankly, everybody in Arizona, you guys, uh, especially in Chandler, you have got to go and speak to your police, your police departments, um, DCS, and you all should show up in this doctor's office. How dare he? Why didn't he call? Why didn't he call her, the mother, and ask how the child was? Instead, he just finds out that she didn't go to the ER, so he picks up the phone and calls DCS, and everybody knows now it is not a secret that these agencies are for profit, and they have been stealing children. They have been stealing children, and our Department of uh, Social Services, they traffic children. Yeah, do the research. All right, I, I just, I see these, you know, clips, and it just, it breaks my heart for the parents. I can't, I try to put myself in their shoes, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'd be in jail. I would be in jail. They bust down the door. I mean, are you kidding me? Because, you know, the child had a temperature. So they bust down the door. I would really love to hear what you guys think about this. This is so outrageous. It's, you know, Americans, could you please, could you please wake up, smell the coffee? Our country is not the country that you think it is. And unless you take action immediately, this or other, you know, any kind of, you know, police uh, involvement that you find yourself in, you will find, you know, that boot in the face. We are a police state.